Imagine a big gray bird with a large wooden shoe for a bill, and you'll have a good idea of what a shoe bill looks like. Shoe bills are both uncommon and unusual. They are found mostly in wetlands in the eastern part of sub-Saharan Africa, and their total population is thought to be fewer than 8,000. Shoe bills are four to five feet tall, and they stalk around on their very large feet. Their toes are long, with the longest one measuring about seven inches. Long toes help shoe bills to better distribute their weight and maintain balance. Some other wetland birds, such as the American coot, have very long toes for similar reasons. The bill of the shoe bill has a circumference larger than that of any other bird species in the world. The bill has sharp edges for killing prey, and it has a nasty hook on the end. One of the shoe bill's preferred foods is the marbled lungfish, which also is an unusual creature. Most fish can breathe air, but the respiratory system of the lungfish is much more developed. Instead of having simple air sacs for holding air, the lungfish has two lungs, which are the basis for its name. Lungfish sometimes settle deep into the mud, and shoebills use their large, heavy bill to dig them out. The plumage of adult shoebills is mostly gray. They have a tuft of feathers in the back of their head, and when the wind blows from behind, this tuft sometimes points upward. The two sexes look alike, with the female being a bit smaller. The irises of an adult shoebill are light-colored, and a shoebill's stare appears to be intense. The shoebill is the only bird in its family. Its scientific name is Balaeniceps rex. Balaeniceps means whalehead. Balaen is Latin for whale, and rex means king, so a shoebill's scientific name means whalehead king. Baleen whales have baleen plates to filter their food instead of teeth to chew it, but shoebills have neither baleen plates nor teeth. A colloquial name for the shoebill is the whale-headed stork. It looks like a stork, but it is not closely related. Many storks are huge birds with very large bills. Here is a marabou stork. It is taller and has a longer wingspan than a shoebill. When it walks, you can see its long spindly toes. Maraboos are scavengers, and when they are at an animal kill, they tower over African vultures, many of whom are also huge birds. The marabou has one of the longest wingspans of any bird in the world. They are also one of the least handsome bird species. No matter how much you try to give them the Richard Avedon treatment when photographing them, by using different lighting and different angles, it is difficult to make them look attractive. They have a face only a mother marabou could love. Shoebills are thought to be closely related to pelicans. Many pelican species are huge, and some have the longest bills of any birds in the world. Another close relative is the hammercop, who, like the shoebill, is the only species in its family. The hammercop is much smaller than the shoebill. The name means hammerhead and hammercops have the distinction of building the largest nests of any bird species in the world. The nest can be up to five feet across, and even more remarkably, hammercops sometimes build three to five of them per year. Each nest might require up to 8,000 sticks. Some other species of birds have large and unusual bills, such as the black and white casked hornbill. The cask is the woody-looking appendage on top of the bill. The two species of ground hornbills are in a different family than all of the other birds called hornbills, but they too have very large bills. Here is an Abyssinian ground hornbill in Uganda. And this southern ground hornbill in Tanzania has used his large bill to catch a snake to feed to his nestlings. The boat-billed heron, found in the New World, has a bill that looks like the front end of a bedroom slipper. The bill of the shoe bill more closely resembles a wooden shoe called a sabot, which was worn by people in France and other countries in Western Europe. The sabot was carved from a block of wood, and it is the basis for the word sabotage. When French laborers who wore sabots were unhappy about their work conditions, they sometimes would intentionally work slowly or inefficiently. There is little evidence to support the story that these workers committed sabotage by throwing their sabots into machinery as a protest against the automation. Shoebills have a wingspan of about eight feet. When they fly, their wing beat is slow. 
They often use their broad wings to soar. Their profile when soaring is distinctive and their legs extend well beyond their tail. Like all other bird species, shoebills periodically molt their feathers. You can see one of this shoebill's feathers fly off on a windy day. Shoebills are one of the most sought after species by birders who visit East Africa. The shoebill footage in this video was shot in Uganda, some in the Nile River near Murchison Falls, and some in Mabamba Swamp about an hour from Entebbe. You usually need to go out in a boat to look for them. Shoebills are charismatic birds, and trying to find one is well worth the effort.